This is wonderful. I'm so glad to be with you once more again, my dear friends, after this long journey or this long vacation by force was a vacation after I had this flu and suddenly I found my voice was changing and I cannot uh, making any video or doing any video with you but now I am here with you once more again howdy howdy friends and Tamer is here once more again today I will talk with you about the stick dance which I finished some during this vacation as I told you and uh, some more information I love to explain to you about it or about them actually in Egypt, we have a wonderful type of dancing. We call it stick dance. Uh, the stick dance, what you know exactly, which we spread it all over the world, only one type uh, and the rest not. Maybe some of you know some of them and uh, some others don't know anything about these different types of forms of uh, dancing with a stick. Egypt famous for stick dance, as you know exactly, and this type of dance belongs to Upper Egypt, but it belongs to the Gawazi in Upper Egypt, who they uh, allowed to use this type of uh, stick or uh, this type of dance. They allowed to dance over there. Also in uh, North Egypt, especially in Delta, they have the same stick also which they use it over there i mean the gawazi but uh, the people over there they use it also in upper egypt not but in north egypt yes this is exactly uh, very quickly the difference between both north and south which you know it tom speak with me once more again i don't know what he wants but he want to talk a little bit with us uh, in this uh, video by the way See, he look for something. I think he is jealous a little bit or something like that. He want me to go and play with him or something like this. Anyway, uh, this is the stick in Egypt, North Egypt and South Egypt. Uh, the famous stick you know. But what about the rest? We have many different types of stick. Immediately now, I think most of you uh, began to think about baladi dance of course we use the stick in baladi dance and some of the oriental dancers also using the baladi dance in addition uh, in uh, gypsy also they are using the uh, stick uh, while they're dancing but in some uh, types of dancing what does that mean exactly that means exactly we have many different types of sticks or a stick dance as I told you even the stick also the length of a stick also can be uh, more uh, shorter or longer depends on the area the people uh, who they will use this type of stick the the smallest one or the shortest one in Egypt around 40 centimeters or something like that and the the, the, the the longest one around three meter length three meter length which it is strange if i see something like this and people dancing with this type of stick too also the, uh, the the type of stick sometimes changing too we are not dancing all the time with the same uh, type of stick which it means exactly sometimes wooden stick sometimes bamboo stick of course i know this is a, a wood or wooden uh, material the material so sometimes we changing the materials yes also depends on the communities or depends on the areas uh, people using the stick so uh, this is also the uh, materials of the stick we are using a lot of different uh, types of movements we using uh, or we doing or we performing with the stick when we're using the stick so for this reason you have to know the distribution map or to, to watch with me I will explain to you the distribution map of uh, stick uh, all over Egypt to understand exactly the areas uh, the shortest one, for example, we found it or we use it with the shepherds when they're going to grazing uh, everywhere out of the cities. 
as you know exactly. So this is something, and the length one, uh, the taller one, or the long one, we use it in somewhere inside the cities, but it depends on where the city is located in Egypt. This is very quickly the meaning of the stick or, the, or why we are using the stick like that. Uh, last point before I start the video of the distribution map of the sticks in Egypt, uh, the stick, we use it also in Egypt long ago as type of tool, uh, as type of uh, uh, tool of war, uh, weapon, for example, something like that. I, if I say something like this, was long time, around maybe 4,000 years ago, or maybe more than this, yes, also. Uh, one of the main, com uh, let me say, war had happened in Egypt, uh, was around maybe 4,000 years ago when the kingdom or the queen of the kingdom of Meroe came to Egypt or attacked Egypt from south, southern Egypt, and she tried to uh, go through Egypt by a stick with her uh, soldiers. It was something like this, and she tried to attack Egypt. And this time, suddenly or immediately, we rebelled this attack by the new weapons we created in this time long ago, 4,000 years ago. This was the last time we heard about uh, the war uh, using a stick or people using a stick in their war or sticks in their war. Uh, this story, I love to share it, yes, also to share with you, also to know exactly uh, that it was a type of tool uh, we use, or weapon, we use it inside uh, uh, war long ago. Now, of course, not anymore. But sometimes we can use our guns as a, a type of uh, <laughs> stick, just if we finish the, the pallets, for example, or something like this. So we can use it like that, or the soldiers use it like that. What does it mean exactly? That means uh, this stick can, or we can use it as, uh, or in attack. So for this reason, we have to keep in mind that the stick were, uh, was using like this way long ago, and a step by step change it to be as a folk game. And then we began to use it inside our dancing. This is very quickly the meaning of the stick and the, why the stick was like this uh, long ago. Uh, another point, yes, also, uh, the stick, when people using the stick for some purpose, which is very, which they are very important, either loyalty, for example, loyalty, or imitating someone, or to show you the power of uh, the stick or the power of mine uh, within the community I live in, so these, these are also uh, some points let people using the stick through their dancing and of course in the uh, lifestyle. And uh, sometimes, uh, not sometimes, most of the time is same as everywhere all over the world. It, the elder, they using the stick when they're going uh, to walk. For this reason, the stick of ballady dance, it is closer to this type of w uh, walking stick. So keep in mind something like this. V this is very important when you're going to use or to choose uh, the stick for your dancing. You have to know exactly which area you will go present uh, in your dancing and you have to choose the, the correct stick you can use while you're dancing. Now, let's go to the video talking about or explain about the distribution map of Egypt and we uh, come back again together. I will explain to you something during this video. This is the video now and let's go to the video. We have different forms of stick dance in Egypt. Let's start first with the distribution map of a stick dance in Egypt. I will start first with the famous form of stick dance, which is the upper Egyptian dance, as you said. In Upper Egypt, we have uh, the most famous stick dance all over the world. And as you see on the map, this is exactly the area of the Upper Egypt or the Upper Egyptians who live over there and play this type of game. Later, I will explain to you much more about this game. Then, 
we have Delta. Delta is famous for Gawazi and Awalim with the stick dance too. And also we have Oriental dancing in Delta and the Oriental dancers using a special type of stick over there. Then we have Sinai Peninsula. Sinai Peninsula is famous for the Bedouin uh, dance with the stick. Then we have Alexandria. Alexandria is famous for Awalim with the stick dance too. And we have also Oriental dancers who are using a special type of stick over there too. Then we have Cairo. Cairo is famous for Awalim with the stick dance uh, or using the stick and also oriental dancers who are using the special type of stick then we have El Fayoum El Fayoum is a little area or little place or let me say little city they are using the stick dance too or they using the stick through their dance too then we have the oasis in this area exactly in front of you on the map in the oasis we have the burmia bahariya they are using a special type of stick over there too then now we will go to uh, tahtib which it means exactly or as you think exactly it is type of dance but it is not it is type of folk game now I will go to explain to you exactly what is the meaning of this game and what is the meaning behind this game and everything related to this game. Playing with the stick has a great and ancient story in Egyptian history. Tahtib is the fencing that has become the passion of men in Upper Egypt. It is a popular game performed to the melodies of the Egyptian musical instrument El Mizmar. It appeared and thrived in the Nile Valley and was passed down through generations until it became an integral part of our artistic heritage and popular culture. Although it is a martial art that appeared in the time of the ancient Egyptians, Strict rules and regulations were established to regulate the game of Tahtib. The ancient Egyptians inscribed these regulations more than 4800 BC, especially during the 5th dynasty. The oldest trace of those regulations were found on engravings from the archaeological site of Abu Sir city. The first evidence of the vestive representation of Tahtib can be seen in the New Empire more than 3,500 years ago. There isn't much difference between the old and the new Tahtib game, unless, of course, the rules have changed throughout the history. The stick dance now, if we are talking about the stick dance, the first group who created the stick dance on the stage was Reda Troop, and they created with boys and girls. Later, Kaumea Troop used the stick dance too, and they use it as you see with the mask of horse. Later, many other dance troops used the same stick dance with the same exactly steps. And of course, it started to be very famous all over the world. And as you know exactly, the stick dance, it is or it belongs to the Gawazi. So for this reason, a lot of people mix it between the Gawazi dancing and uh, Tahtib game. So, in this exactly the way they were dancing long ago and are still dancing the same until now. If you know exactly there is uh, different types of uh, stick dance or the stick itself. The first stick which belongs to Upper Egypt, which is the famous one, uh, the Gawazi in Upper Egypt use this, this type of stick and also in Delta. Sometimes they are using the same stick also in Delta. This stick is Baladi uh, or they are using in Baladi and Awalim. And this stick 
they are using in oriental dancing and gypsy so we call it gypsy stick or oriental dance stick now we reach the conclusion of stick dance Awalim use the walking stick most of the time in their performance. Oriental dancers use the thin stick in their performance. The Gawazi use the thin stick in Delta and the regular stick in Upper Egypt in their performance. Egyptian gypsies use the thin stick in their performance. Bedouins use the short stick in their performance. And the last one, the oasis dwellers who live in the oasis use the long wooden stick in their performance. This was my video for today, which I hope you like it. And of course, if this is first time watching this video or this is first time visiting the channel, make sure to click the subscribe button below to receive my next videos and also I will be waiting for your comments and your questions if you have any question about this dance or any type of dancing I mean folk dancing or oriental dancing too thank you very much and see you in my next videos